Hi, I'm Nigel, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to associate an Amazon Route 53 private hosted zone with a virtual private cloud or VPC that's in a different AWS account. Let's get started. For this demonstration, I'll be using two accounts. Account A has the private hosted zone and account B has the VPC that we want to associate. First, upgrade to the latest AWS CLI version. I have already done this for my setup. Please follow the links in the article if you need to update this. Next, let's ensure the AWS CLI or Cloud Shell is configured with the credentials for an AWS identity and access management user or role that has Route 53 access in account A. Now, let's run the list hosted zones command to list the hosted zones in account A. Note the ID of the private hosted zone that you want to associate. Next, we'll run the list VPC association authorizations command to list the VPC association authorizations for the hosted zone. If the VPC ID from account B isn't listed, then you must authorize the association first. To do this, run the create VPC association authorization command. Next, let's ensure the AWS CLI or Cloud Shell is configured with the credentials for an AWS IAM user or role that has Route 53 access in account B. Now from account B, we'll run the associate VPC with hosted zone command with the hosted zone ID from account A to create the association. When the changes are propagating, the status might initially be pending. It's a best practice to delete the association authorization after you create the association so that you don't accidentally create it later. Here we are back to account A. To delete the authorization, run the delete VPC association authorization command. Finally, let's confirm the VPC association on the Route 53 console. Select the private hosted zone and under hosted zone details, verify that the VPC ID from account B is listed. Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances in the VPC can now resolve DNS records from the private hosted zone. So now you know how to associate an Amazon Route 53 private hosted zone with a VPC that's in a different AWS account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.